G'day everyone, Adam here, going overland. Uh, today I want to talk to you about what toilet we've been using. Now this toilet that we bought eight years ago rev revolutionised the way we camped and, um, and it, it increased the enjoyment factor tenfold. These have been the best value for money camping equipment that we've bought. G'day everyone, Adam here going overland. Uh, today I want to talk to you about what toilet we've been using. Uh, we've been asked by quite a fair few people what we do with the kids uh, and, and how we do it. So I uh, thought I'll take you through what we've been using. Um, for a long time, when it was just me and Larissa, we would go, like everyone else, dig a hole in the bush and um, you know do your business there and fill it up. But um, the trip that changed that for us was when we did Cape York the first time. We stayed at Palm Creek, a uh, beautiful campsite, beautiful river. Um, and you can see there's a little track there to go where everyone's been using the toilet. And you walk in there and it was just toilet paper everywhere. Like you didn't even want to walk in there. It was disgusting. And I thought, what's wrong with people? Why can't they bury their toilet paper? And I did not want to walk in there. Um, and I certainly didn't want to be having kids doing that, having to walk in those disgusting places because kids touch everything. So a friend of ours recommended uh, the, the uh, Bedford Porta Potty. It's a three, no, it's the 165. And uh, that's been a game changer. Now this tool that we bought eight years ago rev revolutionized the way we camped and um, and it, it increased the enjoyment factor tenfold. Um, a, you didn't have to dig for rock hard ground to, to do your business. If it was raining, it didn't matter. You didn't have to set up a separate tent because there's no smell come out of these. When they're, when they're closed up and you're not using them, there's no smell. Um, and yeah, in privacy as well. Like when you sometimes go out in the bush and dig a hole, Sometimes you wouldn't set up a privacy tent. Um, sometimes you would if you're there for long enough. But with these things, we just sit them in the tent. The old camper trail of the soft floor, it was a big tent. We just sat it in one corner of the tent. Uh, in the breakaway, we sit it in the hallway. And it's right between our beds. So if it's if it smelled bad, we wouldn't have it in there. But we just leave it in the inside the trailer in the little walkway. So like I said earlier, we've had the far unit for eight years. Um, and that we probably go camping a lot more than most people. Uh, every school holiday, every long weekend, once a month for a weekend. Um, every year we would do a three week trip, a four week trip sometimes. Uh, longest has been a five week trip. Um, so that's every year. So, you know, 50, 60 days a year we would be using the toilet. And after eight years, um, just one of the seals is starting to leak a little bit. Very small amount, and it's only when it's full right to the brim. Um, so we got a big trip coming up, so we thought we'll uh, upgrade to a, a newer toilet and um, see how that goes. So like I said, we've had this old unit for eight years. Um, one of the seals is slightly leaking. 
So for the next trip, we've bought a new system. Now, when we bought this one eight years ago, we bought it for two reasons, the Thetford one. One was recommended to us, and two, you can get parts for these. Um, Camtech, you can order all the seals, uh, replacement parts from there. So it's quite easy, if something breaks on it, um, you can get parts. My brother bought one after us, and he, um, he had it in the back of the car, and we were going down this track in the Gulf of Carpentaria. It's quite a steep track, and he told me the thing went end over end in the car and didn't leak a drop. So that's a testament to how good these things are. End over end, and when we just went up to Karimba Tops again, he had it in the camper trailer. Your finger would be right in there, uh, but he didn't have a lot of gear in there, and it rolled over there as well. <laughs> so very strong. So this is a brand new unit, so it's not that disgusting. I'll, um, it's clean, never been used. So you got your little toilet seat, you got your cap, and you got to watch young kids with these caps. Sometimes they can't lift it up. This new unit seems a lot, lot easier to lift than the old one. It just locks it in when you're traveling. You can also buy canvas bags for these, um, and you can also buy like a PVC bag or a PVA bag. Uh, we don't use it because well, every time you need to use it, you've got to take it out of the bag. So we just strap it down in the trailer. I'll show you how we do that later on. So there's your cap. Um, they recommend you leave the lid, the, the um, flap here closed when you do your business, but we always just leave it open. We, we put a line of toilet paper in there, just a couple of sheets in there, and um, when you flush it all sort of slides in pretty easy. So there's, you've got a seat, uh, and this one's a bit different. It's got like a, a, a pump that goes up and down. The old one's got like a bellow. I think from what I heard, there was a few issues with the bellows. We never had a problem. But again, you could buy parts for them. Uh, so they've upgraded with this. This is the 365 um, porta potty. So it's also got on here a little indicator when it's full, it goes to red. Don't know why you need that. You can just look down the hole. So to separate them, there's two parts to this. There's your waste tank and your, your top body. You just pull this little lever across and the back lifts up. And there you go, there's the top tank. So in here holds, I think 16 or 18 liters of water. And the bottom tank can hold about 20 liters. So here's the, um, here's a, the opening and the seal. Um, our seal on the other one was the seal for here, which I believe is very difficult to replace. So for the price of it, after eight years, you know, I'm happy to pay another $150 and get a new unit. And I can't believe the price is the same. We got this one on sale and it's the same price as eight years ago. I thought that was a deal. It's still a great deal. So this is our old unit. Now for the old camper trailer, we had a, a box we built on the drawbar. It used to have a spare tire there, but the spare tire could also go on the tailgate. So I built a timber box. It wasn't very dust proof or anything, as you can see by all the red dust, probably from the Simpson Desert. Um, it copped a hammering. It just went straight in this timber box. The lid flopped down, a little latch on it. Uh, the back was open, so mud and dust and rain could get in there. And mate, it never missed the beat. It was never an issue. All, all, all inside was, you can see a little bit of dust around the outside, but inside it was clean. Um, Fantastic, you can see all the views it's had. It's had, um, you know, it's got nicks and scratches all over it. And like I said, one little seal leaking. And um, mate, can't believe how good this thing is. It is a game changer, especially with the kids. Now, when the kids need to wake up and go to the toilet in the middle of the night, if you've got a toilet outside, you know, you've got to get up with them and walk them to it. If it's raining, it's a pain. If it's cold, it's miserable. If you have one of these inside your tent, no problem kids, go to the toilet. We leave a glow stick every night near the toilet. It acts like a little bit of a night light and um, they just get up and go to the toilet, no problem at all. Uh, and they've been doing that since they were, you know, three years old, you know, they'd wake up themselves and go to the toilet. When they were younger than that, you'd hear them tossing and turning and we'd wake up and put them on. But since they were three, they'll be able to do that by themselves, which is 
you know, it's fantastic. You get a great night's sleep not having to wake up when your kids wake up to go to the toilet. Um, you can get you can get the bottles in two different sizes. So when you're traveling, we take a little bottle and we take how much we need. If we're only going for a weekend, we might not take anything. If we're going for a week, we might put enough in there for, um, for one or two flushes uh, of the system. And um, we only buy the big bottles to top up the little bottles. So this is where we sit our toilet. And like I said, there's no smell. Our beds are right beside it, so if there was any smell, we would know about it. Uh, we just strap it down while we're traveling, so it doesn't go any anywhere. One over the top and one around the front. And um, yeah, it's so simple for the kids. They just get up, there's a glow stick, they can see the toilet, they do their business, they go back to sleep, they leave us alone. It's fantastic. So we put normally about uh, 100 mils of uh, the pink stuff, your rinse aid into the top tank and about 150 mil into, of the blue stuff into your waste tank. And that sort of does us for a, you know, for a long weekend, four days, five days, no problem at all. Um, I don't recommend filling your, your flush tank up all the way. It's just too much weight. It's very heavy. Easy to fill up. We just pour it down the uh, down the waste hole. You can open them up and pour them in from your drain, but we just find it's easier this way, and then we rinse it out. We'll put about a litre of water in the waste tank. You don't want to put too much in there. You want to save that space for your waste. And then, yeah, like I said, probably 10, 12 litres. We just eyeball it, a bit over half a tank in your rinse tank. So they're pretty simple to use. There's a couple of different things you can get for them. One's a, a cleaning bottle, same like this, but it's um, it's just to clean there every one, every year or two. Uh, there's your rinse bottle, which goes in the top tank, and your blue bottle. And you can get a green one for septic tanks, and that goes in your waste tank. Pretty easy to do, I'll, I'll, talk, I'll run you through all that. A um, couple of things to look out for. Well, they recommend using the specific toilet paper for them, but we just use the regular toilet paper. We find when you're driving around, especially if you're forward driving, it gets sloshed around enough in the waste tank when you're driving out and it breaks it up. We've never had a clock cloggage. Um, that's probably another thing to talk about is the, um, the dump points. That's what they're called, the dump points. You can find them on wiki camps, uh, camps, Eight, the uh, the big book. Uh, they've got a section at the back. Uh, look, it's not pleasant, but it's not horrific. Um, first time I did it, I was, I was quite surprised how easy it was and it lack of smell. We've had two uh, instances where it's been a bit gross. Once was near Mount Isa, and they had no water to rinse your toilet out or rinse the big drain into the hole. Uh, that was in the middle of nowhere, that dump point on the highway. Um, and I believe from memory, we didn't even use it. We just thought we'll get to Mount Eyes and use the next one. The other one was at Fraser Island. Uh, Christmas time, peak time, the island was chock-a-block and one of their dump points was overfilling. Uh, and again, I believe we, um, we used, uh, actually they had two. They had two dump points there. So one was overfilling and we went to the other one and it was fine. So the way you drain these out is when they're full, you separate the two units. You swing your arm out. I usually like to lift the unit up on an angle so there's no, you know, waste up near the cap. You unscrew the cap. You've had the, the dump point unit up and you just pour it in. You stay back and with that arm there, you don't get a lot of splatter. There's a big, usually a big opening and you can get it right in there and pour it in and it's no problem. You don't get any splash back or anything like that because you'd be behind the unit and um, with this little arm there, it, it stops all that splash back and things like that happening. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Uh, that's the Porta Potty 165. The new ones are 365, both the same size. You can get ones with a smaller waist, but I think they're pointless. You'll fill them up way too quick. Don't get the smaller ones. Um, like I said earlier, these have been a game changer for us. These have been the best value for money camping equipment that we've bought. It's just made 
camp life is so much more comfortable and enjoyable. It's just that one thing you don't have to worry about out there. You come home and, and we dump it at home. We use the sewer line. We can dump it in there, no problem at all. We've checked all the stats. You can do that. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. I highly re recommend the Thetford toilets. Um, we'll see you next week. If you've got any questions, anything at all, hit us up in the comments below. If you want to know, you know, any specifics, um, yeah, just let us know. Only too happy to help. Thanks, guys. Hope you like the video. Subscribe, like, follow, all that stuff. See you soon.